Hello and welcome to another Miniatures Monday with That Welsh Nerd and another painting tutorial today. So recently when I started to get into Aleph for Infinity I wanted to do an urban style camo for my Murdons and Steel Phalanx. Now whilst this technique I've got has gone a little bit off the original idea I had and concept um, it still works very well as an urban camouflage um, as well as a tip I'm going to give at the end which also helps to make it an arctic camouflage so it's a bit of an in-between stage so for this what I've done is I've gone into my bits box to find a nice flat piece to work on and I found a plastic contempt of dreadnought melter gun arm and primarily we're going to be focusing on the shoulder now to start, I merely applied a white base coat, I brushed it on to save some time. Um, this is ceramite white and I just went for a solid base coat. Any white colour will do for this. Now the first step for doing this is to give it a base coat of Administratum Grey. So once the paint has been shaken up, I use my medium style brush. Dip in some water to get a little bit wet, and then I paint it on the entire white area, like so. Uh, this is a thin paint, so it will take multiple coats, probably two, maybe even three. I really wouldn't recommend doing any more <laughs> than that, however, as it will start to get a bit too thick. As you can see, it's a very subtle um, overtone at the moment uh, for it, and we want to get a solid coat. So it'll be multiple thin coats of administratum grey to cover all this white. Okay, so when this stage is done, as you can see, it's a very subtle change, but it's there nonetheless. Now, after you've done this, it's time to start blocking in the camouflage. Now, most tutorials for an urban camouflage will go for the digital style, where you'll need to use some templates, etc. to build up this technique. I'm instead going for the more traditional style of camouflage. Either way, how you're going to do it, you need to use Skaven Blight Dinge. So once you've given this paint a little shake. You want to get one of the finest brushes you can get. I for what I've got a really fine detail one here. You want it a little bit wet and then you want a small amount on your brush. Like so and then just wipe that little bit of excess you've still got the tip of your brush. Like so. And then what you want to do is just start putting on some camouflage patterns. So little spots and splodges like so. I personally like to do the lines first then block them in. And you want to do this all over where you've done the Astro Granite Grey. Sorry, the administratum grey. Uh, it's okay to run into and over details, obviously, because when you're doing camouflage, you're looking for... Well, you're looking to break up the lines and details of the model. So I'll cut back once I've covered this in as much camouflage as I'd like. So, as you can see, we've put the camouflage spots on, and it's got a nice, evenish coverage to it. I've tried to vary the maps. I have some big, some little, a massive one to go over corners here. I found it really helps with the whole look if you have them go over edges etc. It helps to give, well, that camouflage look. So there's one more step to the actual camouflage itself and that's applying a little bit of Abdon Black. Now you're not using this to add extra splots and patches etc. You're instead using it to actually accentuate the Skaven Blight Dinge. So once this is focused up I'll show you 
you take it to say one of these and you'll put it over and then out to it. So it's, you're doing a little spot that, go, that overlaps with each of them. Um, on my first attempt, I did uh, keep these separate, but I found that doing all of them with just a little bit of black really helps to just make the camouflage style pop just that little bit more. So you, want, you need to go around all of the Skaven Blight Dinge for this, so I'll cut back once that's done and it's dry. Okay, so the black has now been done all over and accentuated all the Skaven Blight Dinge. As you can see, it just helps to make the camouflage well pop a little bit, um, yet still giving it that urban feel. So there's one more step to this scheme, and that's to use some null noil. Now, you're not going for a full heavy coat of it. You're instead looking for just a light brush over the entire thing. And I find that just helps to marry all the colors and blend it together. So if you can get a full and you don't really want it pooling anywhere other than in some recesses and this just helps to marry all the colors together and blend them just a little bit through. So once you've got an even coverage all over the model or the area that you're painting camouflage for example, if you're doing vehicles, you might want to leave the canopies, etc. So once you've got an even, roughly even anyway, coat of null noil all over the model, like this, you need to leave it dry for a little bit. Uh, I found it takes, when you're doing just a thin coat over the entire thing like I am, it takes about 10-15 minutes, but I usually leave it about 20 just to be sure that I'm not going to ruin it later on. So I'll cut back to you in a few minutes once this is dry to show you the finish effect. Okay, so we can see now that the null oil has more or less completely dried. Um, on the top I did it a little bit too heavy purposefully as well as this plate just to show you that if you do it too heavy you can end up with either streaky or no blend at all. What you're ideally looking for is something like in the center here where the black and gray kind of blend together and then the pot splotches and the patches etc all kind of stand out but still fit well with the administratum gray. This was the same effect that I did on all the under armor of my myrmidons as we can see here. Now for the Myrmidons, I also, for the armor, did essentially a reverse version of this. I base coated it with black, then used Skaven Blight Dinge as a full cover, then used Administratum Grey to do the big patches and highlighted and accentuated them with a white scar. Essentially the reverse of what I've done here and on the under armor which, as you can see, creates a nice effect, a nice contract, while still making them look interesting. Now, this is a, what I'd like to call, tabletop standard looking camouflage. It's not amazing. There are better camouflage tutorials out there, that I won't deny. But what this is, is a nice, easy and quick technique that you can do to apply the effect to a large amount of models. For example, if you wanted to do an Imperial Guard Regiment and do the flak armor in this, you can easily bash out a platoon of this color and this style very quickly and in one sitting. Especially with a um, line going along. But that has been That Welsh Nerd with another painting tutorial for you. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment and subscribe to be notified of more content. And I'll see you in the next one.